Whoa! Whoa, folks! That's right! It's your favorite time of the day, monkey time! Population us, folks. Here we go. I'm going to pull up some cool Spyro background music or something or the other. Uh, Inazo, thank you for subscribing. And we're going to go right into this Hunger Games. I got nothing else planned for this stream. Just it's, We're going to hunger. We're going to game. It's going to be fun. There'll be hungers for gaming and monkeys for blaming when things don't go right. If you don't like the results, we can fight. Wave function, welcome to the Monkey Roger Army, folks. Okay. Hunger Games time. Yu-Gi-Oh! Speed Duels channel. Oh. Well, like, when you play as fast as possible? Uh, I don't think so. I like a slow game of Yu-Gi-Oh, folks. Here we go. Nintendo, thank you for subscribing. Folks, let me explain what's going on today. If you don't know, this BrantSteel.net website has a Hunger Games simulator within it where you can put in all the characters you want and it's just like a text-based play-by-play uh, of a completely randomized Hunger Games. So we'll watch these characters kill each other and at the end, one will be the victor. We'll have a big winner at the end. Now, I did not make this... A fan made this and sent it to me. This isn't necessarily all the characters I would have chosen myself, but this is what we're stuck with. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to Hunger Games this shit. I want to go through the characters, this great cast of characters first. Can I, can I zoom in? There we go. All right. From District 1, we have Monkey Jones and Sheepover paired up. Just like the original Hunger Games, will we be a Katniss and Peeta duo? Pretending to fall in love so that people send us special treats like medicine. And then at the end, the two star-crossed lovers will try to commit suicide together. It's like poetry, folks. It's like poetry, just like real life. We will both eat the poison berries and die together. <laughs> From District 2, we have another pair of star-crossed lovers. <laughs> Jumpy Moans, who is sitting in the background excited to watch. <laughs> and his, uh, his lady love, Alexa. <laughs> Not to be confused with his other lady love, Jane Goodall, who is, uh, for some reason, paired up with Bedhead Bernie. <laughs> but we'll get to that. From District, uh, District 3, the State of the YouTube District, we have my podcast co-hosts, Rusty Cage and Emperor Lemon teamed up in District 3. District 4, we have uh, a past best friend and a present best friend, both starting with A. You've got Asperger and Asterios. One, I assume, is much more violent and deadly than the other. I won't say which is which. You can put your mind to it. However you want. District 5, uh, <laughs> for some reason, is Biggs and Mr. Meat Man. So far, the, like, these pairings have made somewhat sense to me, like, pretty obvious, okay. This one is so random. Two people who, I assume, don't even know that the other guy exists. <laughs> but people, I guess, that I've worked with in the past, uh, did a lot of stuff with Biggs back in the day. Uh, Mr. Meat Man, he's been on Is It Kino a time or two, and a bunch of other projects. So I guess they're just together. Then we have from District 6. <laughs> Another... Another romantic duo, star-crossed lovers yet again, my grandmother, and uh, Reactor. What the fuck is this? <laughs> at, 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 at. Am I missing something? Okay, let's take a look at what they meant to say. Oh, first donation, baby. Thank you, Venezuela. <laughs> yeah, that's right, star-crossed lovers, monkey's grandma and Reactor. After my channels got deleted, I think all of the grandma content is gone, too. I don't know if my website has any of the videos I made with poor Granny Graham here. Tragic. All the new friends in the audience will have no idea of the uh, the essence of goodwill and happiness that radiated from Umki's grandma. But let's see how she does in the Hunger Games. District 7. We have Nerd City teamed up for some reason with my brother, Patchy Jones. It's another one. <laughs> Not really sure. 
uh, what they meant by this one. Uh, but, you know, I'll, I'll take it. Both, I guess, are nerds in their own right. Both could beat me in a fight. <laughs> uh, maybe both of them like guns. I don't know. District 8. Bedhead Bernie. Another old friend of mine. Work, worked uh, closely with him for the last three years or so. Teaming up. Perhaps cuckolding junkie with Jane Goodall from District 8. Will Jane Goodall's knowledge of the jungle come in handy during these uh, Hunger Games survival periods? Let's find out. Will Bedhead Bernie's diagnosis of autism <laughs> allow him to feel no emotion as he cruelly murders his rivals? Oh, Bedhead Bernie's in the chat. Oh. Bedhead Bernie, let me know if you hook up with Jane Goodall. Is this another pair of star-crossed lovers? Here's a pair that, frankly, if I would have made this myself, I wouldn't have put either of these people in there. But from District 9, we have Turkey Tom, an internet historian. Uh, I've got nothing against internet historian, but I don't know if I've ever publicly spoken to the man. We've never appeared on anything together. He was on State of the YouTube once when I wasn't there. Uh, and Turkey Tom, I guess uh, I've collabed with him a little bit. Yeah, yeah, Sheep's right. If uh, if I would have done this, I would have replaced these two with uh, my hamster, Puddles, and my cat, Tuna. But I guess we're stuck with them. It's going to be a real disappointment if Turkey Tom takes this one in the Mumkey Hunger Games. From what I assume is the, uh, the, what, the pedophilia district? Why is Psy not in here? That's a, that's a crime against humanity. We have my Uncle Alex and Digibro, both men who have publicly admitted to perhaps being attracted to depictions of underage girls. Just depictions. Just pixels on a screen, folks. Never, never, would never cross that line in reality. I do find it. Um, a strange coincidence that District 10, 10 is one of those sex numbers, you know, you got the, the one and the, and the zero, and the, I don't know, well, it seems kind of perverted to me. I'm glad Uncle Alex is here, but I would have teamed up Digibro with Psy, so that's, at least in the virtual world, Psy and Digibro could work together, <laughs> like Psy has always wanted. Uh, for some reason, not coming in until District 11, this should have been like 4 or 5, is the Is It Kino District with Florian Himsel and E. Rich McSoy. And speaking of soy, in District 12, we have uh, the bearded soy boy duo, Quentin Reviews and Wings of Redemption. Again, if I was making this, I don't know if I would have put either of them in, but, you know, we got to go with what we were handed. Let's make some predictions here. Everybody in the chat, tell us who who you have your money on. Me, right now, I'm going to go with uh, Jumpkey as my number one pick. If we're doing a draft here. Jumpkey, he seems like a character who cannot lose. And then uh, in close second, I'm going to have Grandma. I think she's my other bet. Those are my two winner's picks. What do you guys think? Uncle Alex, Florian. Uh, there's no way we're doing a straw poll with 24 options, Don V. That's why this chat is here. <laughs> Oh, we can't do a poll of 20 fucking four <laughs> options. It's crazy. It would take all day for me to type that up. If somebody wants to make a straw poll themselves, please post it in the chat. I'll endorse it. You forgot a lot of people. They're all still on screen. <laughs> what do you, you just look at the screen? <laughs> They're right there. Quentin reviews. Uh, that'd be another disappointing win. I'm not going to lie, <laughs> which means it'll probably happen. I really would have liked Grandma and Jane Goodall to team up in a district. I think they would have been a force to be reckoned with. If Emp wins, we riot. District 10 will win. <laughs> I wouldn't be too surprised. They have a good track record so far in life. Asterios is Patreon. Burger will assault everyone. Rusty's good with knives. Well, we'll see if he gets a knife. Looks like he's only equipped with a noose and a fidget spinner right now. <laughs> Yeah, no, Elliot. Yeah, I would have put Elliot Roger in here. This is a, a faulty game. Faulty game. All right, but enough of this. Enough of guessing. Let's just hop into it. Proceed. Let's do it. All right. The bloodbath. This is where I think a good chunk of people are going to fall victim. Let's begin. 
As the tributes stand on their podiums, the horn sounds. I assume in the Monkey Hunger Games, this is the horn. <laughs> That's the, make me horny, if you know what I'm saying, folks. <laughs> Hell yeah. Okay. Biggs runs away from the cornucopia. He's canonically a character in a wheelchair, so, so far so good, Hunger Games. Rusty runs away from the cornucopia, alone, does not stay with his district partner. Perhaps he's not loyal to Emp Lemon. Could it be? I would not be surprised. Meat Man, E. Rich, Mumkey, and Digibro share everything they gathered before running. Okay, I like this. What an alliance. Meat Man, E. Rich, me, and Digi. An unexpected uh, quartet. A barbershop quartet alliance has formed... We're gonna share a bunch of our supplies and take off together. I like this. I think this could be the four horsemen that take the whole thing to the end. And meanwhile, Bedhead Bernie runs away alone. Could it be Rusty, Biggs, and Bedhead Bernie? Not the social auteurs we might have thought! Incapable of forming quick, lasting friendships. Jumpkey runs away as well. Asperger runs away as well. Uncle Alex runs away. Let's see, can we, uh, we can probably crop this better. Let's see if I can do some cropping action. Filters... well... Eh, it's good enough. What are you gonna do? Uncle Alex runs away. Grandma grabs a sword? Okay, I like that. Let's do one more zoom in. Sure. Yeah, that looks good. That looks good right there. Grandma grabs a sword. Emp re receives a trident from inside the cornucopia. So, Rusty runs away. This battle royale isn't inclusive enough. Black people can die, too. In fact, despite being 13 per. <laughs> why did it end at per? I feel like there was more to that sentence. I don't know why the, the donation message is so big, but I guess we'll live with it. Let's see, if I can make the box bigger, maybe it'll fit more in. I'll just make it take up the whole screen. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so Rusty runs away from Emp, but Emp, he's no fool. He manages to go inside the cornucopia all alone and re receives a trident. Quinn Reviews finds a backpack full of camping equipment. He, that's the face of a camping man. I think he probably thinks he's just on a camping getaway. He doesn't even realize it's a bloodbath to the death. Asterios finds a backpack full of camp. Oh, Asterios and Quinn Reviews, maybe they'll go camping together. It's not a pairing I ever expected, but uh, I would like to watch that sitcom. Jane Goodall grabs a shield, leaning on the cornucopia. Wings of Redemption grabs a backpack and retreats. Oh, nobody's dead yet. This is called the bloodbath, but everybody is escaping. This is going to be a big, long Hunger Games. Quentin finds a backpack full of Legos. <laughs> yeah, it's his camping equipment. He'll use it to build a hammock somehow. <laughs> uh, Apache runs away. Nerd City grabs a sword. Nobody dead yet, folks. What are, who are our guesses for first blood? Who will die first? Florian runs away. Uh-oh. I think there might be a death here. Reactor breaks... Internet historian's nose for a basket of bread. Okay, so still no death. Just reactor punching this poor old man in the face. <laughs> Turkey Tom takes a spear from inside the cornucopia. Everybody is just getting weapons and running off. Sheep over finds a backpack full of camping equipment. Oh, Sheep, you in the chat talking shit about Quentin reviews doing that? You just did the same fucking thing, Sheep. <laughs> Look out! You're camping with Asterios and, uh, and Quentin tonight. Lego Central. Alexa runs away from the cornucopia. Another confusing use of the word runs, but <laughs> we'll accept. Okay, literally no deaths. I've never been through the bloodbath with no blood being bathed, folks, but I guess we'll proceed. Oh, great, we gotta recenter every time. Rusty explores the arena. Okay, this is day one. Day one. Sheepover receives clean water from an unknown sponsor. That's District 1, folks. We. District 1 is bred for this shit, folks. We get all the sponsors. That's right. Wings of Redemption questions his sanity. <laughs> I guess I uh, go ahead and take a, a screenshot of that one. <laughs> Just like real life. So far, so good. Now I gotta drink Diet Pepsi. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking love this already. <laughs> it's too real. <laughs> yeah, it's day one. It's like a half an hour in. He's questioning insanity. What's going on? 
<laughs> Zoom in one more time. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, it's just one day outside in the woods and he goes crazy. <laughs> Jumpy Moans searches for a water source. Jane Goodall searches for firewood. Still no fighting, folks. What's going on? Uh-oh. Grandma convin convinces Florian to not kill her, only to kill him instead! We have first blood, folks! The dangerous, uh, uh, tricky, tricky grandma kills Florian after begging for her life. It was all a ruse. Gangster grandma, indeed. Everybody, please go tweet at GameSquidable. Florian's Twitter account say, Florian, rest in peace, good sir. <laughs> granny, granny did you cold, fam. Granny is a savage. <laughs> she's a shifty bitch. My money's on grandma. She, She's already pulling off epic maneuvers, epic gamer moments. Getting first blood, maybe she'll win the whole thing. Uh-oh. Emp Lemon attacks Turkey Tom, but he manages to escape. Well, I think Emp Lemon, being a vegan, perhaps he realized killing a turkey would be against his morals, and he gave up halfway through the attack. Whoa, this is a big one. Biggs forces Reactor to kill Internet Historian or Asterios. Reactor decides to kill Asterios. Oh! All of my favorite podcast co-hosts falling victim day one. We need a cannon. Instead of a cannon, we'll do the horn. Here's one for Florian. Here's one for my... Let me pour one out for my main man, Asterios. Biggs, you ruthless evil man. Why would you force Reactor to make such an impossible choice? And how did he manage? Okay. Bedhead Bernie diverts Patchy Jones' attention and runs away. Bedhead Bernie continues to be elusive in these games. Digibro is pricked by thorns while picking berries. Okay, interesting. Alexa and Quentin Reviews split up to search for resources. I did not know they were working together. <laughs> I guess that would be the only woman Quentin Reviews can bond with? A computer? <laughs> Meat Man runs away from Uncle Alex. I, I think uh, most teenage boys should probably do the same. Erich searches for firewood. Okay. Asperger and Nerd City hunt for other tributes. An interesting pair to round off day one. While I... Monkey dies trying to escape the arena! <laughs> 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 What a... It would be fucking suicide. I would die from suicide. Of course. Of course. Yeah. I literally... I said, fuck, I'm gonna jump into the force field and, and be eviscerated immediately. <laughs> fucking bullshit. Yeah, rip me. Rip monkey. Tragedy has befallen us. Three down, 21 to go. What an epic Hunger Games so far. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, okay, four cannon shots can be heard. I guess it glitched out. We got Florian, Asterios, and me. Why did it say four when only three people died? Strange. Whatever. Proceed. Uh, okay, Biggs convinces Emp Lemon to snuggle with him. Haha, <laughs> get M E M E D. M E M E D. Brilliant. <laughs> Who came up with that one? I don't think making it bigger will make the text fit better. Maybe I should just make that smaller sometime. Okay, Biggs and Emp Lemon cuddling it up. Rusty Cage receives clean water from an unknown sponsor. Probably a, an 11 year old fan of the knife game. Mr. Meatman looks at the night sky. Digibro tends to Jane Goodall's wounds. Oh. It's Jumpy getting cucked again. Nerd City receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor. This looks like the man who would build his own explosive, TBH fam. I think he built that himself. 
Bedhead Bernie lets Grandma into his shelter. The most elusive of the tributes is bonding with the first blood killer. The most tricky, the, the elusive and the trickster teaming up. What will be happening with Bedhead Bernie and my grandmother in their in their little stick shelter? I don't know. Bernie, what are you what's going on? Yeah, be careful, Bernie. Grandma's gonna she's gonna get you. You better run. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> this is 100% randomized. What were the chances you would do it to us? <laughs> he's just fucking sitting there. He, he's uh, deprived of chili. No Pepsi out in the woods. He's just going crazy. <laughs> the computer knows. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I love this game. <laughs> Quentin reviews, looks at the night sky. Okay. Uh oh. Sheep over an Asperger talk about the tributes still alive. Ooh, another one of their late night talks, as they're known to do from time to time, folks. E Rich receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. Probably a fan of Izakino, upset that he's leaving the show early. Oh my god, this is this looks like a massacre. Oh no. Internet historian Turkey Tom, Alexa, Jumpkey, and Uncle Alex have teamed up and are sleeping in shifts. I can't keep track of these alliances, folks. I can't keep track, but it looks like we have a a real wretched hive of scum and villainy here. At least Jumpkey and Alexa have reunited from District 2. Uh, Patchy Jones defeats Reactor in a fight, but spares his life. Maybe now Reactor can repent for his sins of cruelly slaughtering Asterios. Proceed, let's go. Day two, folks. We're on day two. Oh my god! E-Rich Reactor Jane Goodall and Wings of Redemption form a suicide pact, killing themselves! <laughs> I guess Reactor did take the time to repent for his sins. He couldn't live with himself, fucking killed himself. Wings has been questioning his sanity for 24 hours now, so it's no question. Uh, I, I don't know the story of, uh, e Rich just got a gift from a sponsor. I don't know why he killed himself. And poor Jane, I mean. Uh, the science have been there from the beginning. She's been very sad. She, she relates more to apes than to humans. What Have you fuck? seen the best fake Pokemon League that fooled everyone on 4chan? No, but I'm gonna have to change the size of text because we can't even read that shit. What is happening? Uh, thank you, Frog. I'm gonna change the text size real quick because I'm a big dummy. We can all just continue laughing at this four-way suicide pact. Do, do most of the Hunger Games have four-way suicide packs? You would think people would be, you know, slaughtering each other. That's what we came here for. <laughs> it's kind of what we uh, signed up for here. But I guess it, it wouldn't be a monkey stream without a whole bunch of suicide, huh? All right. Donations, text size. Let's hook a monkey up. Here, why is it at 64? <laughs> hey, 30 is good. Maybe. All right, ho hopefully that saves. All right, let's continue. Asperger receives fresh food from an un unknown sponsor, perhaps a bowl of cat food cereal, folks. His favorite meal. <laughs> the last meal he had before getting locked up. Rusty Cage tends to Quentin Review's wounds. I assume that's after they, they gave him so many softballs during that podcast interview. That was pretty much tending his wounds the entire time. Uh-oh, I don't like this next one. Digibro overhears Mr. Meatman and Bedhead Bernie talking in the distance. Bedhead Bernie is really just teaming up with everybody. He doesn't care. He uh, He's really fending for himself. Uncle Alex goes hunting. Yeah, well, he is a predator. It's to be expected. Grandma attacks Patchy, but he manages to escape. What is this? A remake of Last Thanksgiving, folks? Oh my god. Is this another suicide pact? 
No, it's Sheep over teaming up with Nerd City, Turkey Tom, Internet Historian, and Emp Lemon hunting for the other tributes. Another huge alliance. Alexa over here is Jumpy and Biggs talking in the distance. Okay. Four cannon shots for the <laughs> the suicide pact districts. <laughs> uh, e Rich, Reactor, Jane, and Wings of Redemption. He didn't last long, did he? <laughs> Tragedy. <laughs> Jumpy Moan stays awake all night. Digibro sets up camp for the night. Turkey Tom sees a fire but stays hidden. Rusty Cage cries himself to sleep. Another one to screen cap and uh, throw on Twitter, folks. <laughs> Another one that speaks true to reality. Internet historian loses sight of where he is. Not much of a historian if he doesn't know where he is in reality. No. he would be well-researched on the past and the present. Grandma receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. Grandma's still going strong. She's my number two pick. I got I got a good feeling about her. Uncle Alex tries to sing himself to sleep. Meat Man convinces Alexa to snuggle with him. Oh, is this going to be Quentin Reviews committing suicide because he was bonding with Alexa earlier? Quentin Reviews cooks his food before putting his fire out. How much? Oh, my God. Why? It's still so big. I thought I fixed it. Well... I guess we can read that. Maybe it hasn't updated yet. You think uh, Quentin Reviews would be eating soy? Does that require a lot of cooking? I don't know. I don't eat it. Princess Maria says, You know that you can do 48 tributes. Uh, I should have been in a florin. I don't know what you're talking about, but uh, 48 is a few too many, I think. <laughs> I think a 24 was plenty. Asperger attempts to start a fire, but is unsuccessful. Well, uh, Biggs, Bedhead, Bernie, and Patchy are now sleeping in shifts. Bedhead, Bernie, is there anybody you have not aligned with yet? Other than me who committed suicide on day one. <laughs> oh, Emp Lemon stabs Nerd City in the back with a trident. Is that a death? I guess we'll see on the next page. Uh, it doesn't say that he got away. Maybe that's a death. Let's do a, a temporary for Nerd City. Sheep over looks at the night sky. Cute. Day three, folks. Day three. Turkey Tom collects fruit from a tree. Quentin Reviews begs for Biggs to kill him. He refuses, keeping Quentin Reviews alive. The ultimate cuckening. Somebody begs you to kill them and they refuse, even in a kill or be killed situation. <laughs> grandma begs for Jumpy to kill her. He refuses, keeping Grandma alive. I think they're running out of bits here. <laughs> Bedhead Birdie and Rusty Cage work together for the day. Yeah, no shit. Fucking Bedhead Birdie works with everybody for a day. Birdie, are you gonna be? You gonna be like the dark horse candidate here? You gonna uh, align your way to the end somehow, Birdie? Emplumin attacks Digi Bro, but he manages to escape. I guess that Trident can kill a nerd, but not. A lolicon. Uncle Alex is still on the hunt. Typical predator fashion, still on the hunt. Sheepover accidentally detonates a landmine while trying to arm it. I assume that means death, folks. I wish they'd be more clear, but I assume that means sheep is dead. Does that mean District 1 no longer has a champion? Could it be? Both monkey and sheep died. Accidentally, while trying to do something else. Alexa receives clean water from an unknown sponsor. It'll short-circuit her. Not useful. Meat Man, Historian, and Apache are still on the hunt to get... Asperger cannot handle the circumstances and commits suicide. I could not have said it better myself. Uh, another instance of uh, the game becoming too close to reality, folks. <laughs> uh, we might see uh, that news headline <laughs> within the year. <laughs> uh, another one to screen grab for Twitter. <laughs> I mean, the, they worded it so specifically to make it seem like it's real life. It's not even funny to me. <laughs> like, it's just, it's too fucking real. <laughs> it's like the game is cheating. <laughs> 
All right, yep, Nerd City and Sheep, they are confirmed dead, along with Asperger, who could not handle the circumstances and committed suicide. That's right, the circumstances, yeah, what, what does that mean? <laughs> see status? Okay. Yeah, we can see everybody's status right now. Here's a quick update. Y'all don't know who you're messing with. <laughs> Thank you, Grandma. <laughs> Grandma, you, uh, you're you still my number one pick. No, my number two pick. So, Mumkey and Sheep from District 1, deceased. Uh, Jumkey and Alexa are both still alive. They seem to be aligning with a lot of people. Uh, Rusty and Emp are both still alive from the Sodi District, and Emp has one kill of Nerd City on his belt. Uh, District 4, uh, they have fallen <laughs> completely. District 5 is still doing good. Gangster Grandma is not only still alive, but has a whole kill under her belt, folks. Based, on, I wonder who, who has the most kills so far. It might be everybody tied at one, because a lot of people committed suicide. Uh, Nerd is dead. Patchy's around. Bernie, he's he's a tricky, dangerous one, folks. He's evasive. He'll team up with anybody. Turkey Tom and Historian are still alive. Uh, the uh, uh, this district is still alive. The, the district I wanted to see survive, of course, died. Wings of Redemption committed suicide after questioning his sanity for, I think, two full days. And Quentin Reviews is still alive, hunting for soy! Alright. Let's, let's proceed. I think, uh, anybody who has a kill only has one. Alexa tends to bedhead Bernie's wounds. Quentin Reviews, Biggs, Meat Man, and Uncle Alex tell each other ghost stories. I'm surprised Bedhead Bernie is not part of that group. He'll team up with anybody. Internet Historian cooks his food before putting his fire out. Turkey Tom and Patchy hold hands. Turkey Tom is confirmed bisexual, folks. This is a canon, a canon happening. Brant Steele predicts reality yet again. Ooh, every time I see Grandma alone, I'm scared it's gonna be a suicide. She cannot go out that way, even though I think she was begging to be killed earlier. <laughs> Grandma cooks her food before putting her fire out. Digibro and Rusty Cage huddle for warmth. I wish that would have said cuddle for warmth, but what are you gonna do? Emp Lemon is unable to convince Jumpkey Moans to not kill him. Which I think means Emp has been slain by Jumpkey himself! Rest in peace, Emp Lemon. I told you, Jumpkey, he's my number one pick. He's ruthless. Look at that face. That's the fate. Downward spiral. Downward spiral. Okay, we're going to play the downward spiral. We got we to gotta play it for Emp. Spiral, downward 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 Alright, you get it. Let's go back to the downward spiro, if you ask me. Downward spiro. <laughs> okay. Proceed. Too loud, too loud. Go back down. Alright. Digibro bashes Uncle Alex's head in with a mace! What the fuck? You guys are from the same district! District 10! Cracks under pressure and starts killing each other! <coughs> Tragedy! There can only be one, Digibro says. Only one what? Who can say? Who knows what he meant by that? But there can only be one. Of whatever he's talking about. What what is he talking about when he says that to Uncle Alex as he bashes his head in with a mace? Yeah, is there anybody Digi won't betray? Good fucking question. <laughs> Good question. Bedhead Bernie pushes internet historian off a cliff during a knife fight. Holy shit! Double kill! Back to back kills, folks! <laughs> Bernie! Gets into a knife fight, says, fuck this, gravity will do my killing, and pushes internet historian off a cliff. Bedhead Bernie is going to snake his way to the end of this, folks. I don't see how he could lose. I'm pretty sure they've been teamed up like five times so far. And <laughs> Bedhead Bernie says he hates old people. <laughs> 
Biggs begs for Mr. Meat Man to kill him. He refuses, keeping Biggs alive. I think they're also from the same district, so this is interesting. Grandma kills Patchy as he tries to run! Oh my god, what is this, Thanksgiving last year? <laughs> Fucking gangster grandma ruthless again kills her own grandson in cold blood as he tries to run for his fucking life! Oh, that's my grandma. That's my grandma. Everybody tweet this one out to Patchy. Let him know what's up. <laughs> Sorry, Patch. Patch Adams, you just didn't have what it took. Grandma stabbed you literally in the back. Jumpy Moans tries to sleep throughout the entire day. Sounds like the typical Jumpy I know, folks. Lazy bag of bones full of green dust. Okay. Turkey Tom severely slices Quentin Reviews with his sword. Is that a kill or is that just a slice? I don't know. I... I... Because it says severely slices. If it was... Please do a Twitch donation, Hunger Games. Uh, how does that work? Like, the, the Twitch donators decide who goes into it? That could be fun. If that's what you mean. Um, I assume this means Quentin is dead, because, I mean, who survives a severe slice from a sword? Can't say I'm upset. <laughs> Rusty decapitates Alexa with a sword. Everybody's just killing everybody today. Fitting that Rusty is using a bladed weapon to kill, folks! Fidget spinner no more! Knife game gone wrong in the hood! Gone sexual, some might say. Alright, let's see. Six people have died today. Amp Lemon, Uncle Alex, Internet Historian, Patchy, Quentin Reviews, R.I.P., and Alexa. Let's see the statuses now. Let's check out everybody's stats. We're getting close to the end, folks. We've got Junkie with a kill, Rusty Cage with a kill, Biggs is just holding on. Meat Man's holding on. Grandma with two fucking kills. Uh, Bernie with one kill. Turkey Tom with a kill. And Digibro with a kill. Everybody alive has a kill except for Biggs and Meat Man. And Grandma has set the record with two so far. Grandma is very dangerous. Killing her own grandson. All right. Things are going crazy. Here we go. Turkey Tom receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. Meat Man and Bedhead Bernie fight Jumpkey and Digi. Jumpkey and Digi survive. Oh my god, Bedhead Bernie lost! He lost in a team setting! Meat Man and Bedhead Bernie have been slain. Jumpkey and Digi live to see another day, folks! <coughs> Bedhead Bernie, we, I really thought you were gonna fight your way to the end there. Grandma bails, mails birthday cards full of anthrax. Bernie, what the fuck happened, man? Come on! You were doing so well! Forming alliances, sneaking around, cuddling with people, and now this? The one time you trust Digibro. He stabs you in the back! How could this happen? How could this happen? Jumpkey, of course, though, still going strong. Digi's killing everybody with his Famunda cheese? Yeah, it didn't say how they were fighting. Rusty tries to sing himself to sleep again. It's just too close to reality to even be funny. I imagine he's singing the KYS song to himself. Did that music get way louder? Or is that just me? Uh, Grandma quietly hums. We've got a lot of music of uh, these cold-blooded killers trying to placate themselves. Biggs thinks about home, of course. The cornucopia. Oh, this is the feast. It's replenished with food, supplies, weapons, and memoirs from the tribute's families. Jumpkey and Biggs get into a fight over raw meat, but Biggs gives up and runs away. It's not often that Biggs gives up a fight for food, Jumpkey. You must have been fighting ferociously. Grandma decides not to go to the feast. Gangster Grandma. Playing 40 chess here. Tom bashes Rusty Cage's head against a rock several times. I think that's a death, folks. <coughs> Rusty, no. Tom, how could you? You were jealous of his subscriber count. Digibro falls into a frozen lake and drowns. 
I mean, at this point, the only person left who I don't want to win is Turkey Tom, after that one. <laughs> it's too bad that after all the epic betrayals, Digibro did not die by getting epically betrayed, but instead, I guess, uh, was betrayed by his own uh, obesity, his own gluttony. He weighed more than he bargained for and fell through the ice and drowned. Hmm. Proceed, okay. Day five. Jump King Grandma, the two most cold-blooded killers, my winner picks, work together. How do you like that? Turkey Tom bleeds out due to untreated injuries. I like the... Our, my two winner picks are about to be the final two, folks. Can you believe it? I am the king of predictions. <coughs> Turkey Tom bleeds out. Biggs makes a wooden spear. We're down to the final three. Jumpkey, Grandma, and Biggs. Can you believe it? I'd be happy with any of these three winning. My money, of course, is still on my two top picks. Biggs could be uh, an unexpected victor. Who knows? Could he overthrow my two picks? Okay. Carnivorous squirrels start attacking the tributes. Biggs in agony kills Grandma so she does not have to be attacked by the squirrels. Jumpkey is brutally attacked by a squirrel of, of squirrels. Does that mean Jumpkey is dead? Is he is he killed? Does Biggs win? Is is he dead? Meat man? Too cool for the room. Yeah, I guess so, Grandma. Bernie, Rusty, Digi. Oh my God, no! Biggs is the winner. Nobody even knows who he is. Fuck, those fucking squirrels ruined the whole thing! Man, Grandma and Jumpkey had this in the bag and they send in those goddamn squirrels to ruin the whole thing. It's not fucking fair! The guy in the wheelchair wins. Disappointing. Damn it, Jumpkey and Grandma, my two picks, make it to the final three, get eaten by goddamn squirrels. What the fuck? This is bullshit. Biggs, who hasn't been in a video for two years. Nobody even knows who he is. Wins the day. They talk about pizza villain. He's the real pizza villain. <laughs> he eats pizza all the fucking time. The tragedy is overwhelming, Ben. You're right. Ben, you guys should do a PCP Hunger Games if you haven't already. That'd be a good podcast. Although I'm sure you probably have before. Rematch with District 13, Clegg and Cy. Yeah, um, I need to make another one of these sometime, choosing characters myself, because not a, a, a lot of these I would not have chosen. But there we go, let's look at the final stats. Biggs wins in first place. He only has one kill, though, which I think was Grandma at the very end. Jumpkey with, I think, the most of anybody, three kills in second place. Grandma with two. Turkey Tom somehow gets fourth place. Then Digi, Rusty Cage, Bernie... Meat Man, Alexa, Quentin, Patchy. Man, I'm all the way at the bottom. This is bullshit. Uh, this is probably the funniest death right here. More like Smalls. Yeah, Biggs, more like Smalls. You got him. Uh, Wings of Redemption's death and entire existence was fucking hilarious. Um, but yeah, I'd say overall, not a bad Hunger Games. Lots of really funny outcomes. And uh, not too bad of a winner. I would have liked these two a lot more, but at least it wasn't fucking like Internet Historian or Turkey Tom winning. People who I don't think should be in the MCU. Are you kidding me? Okay. No deaths occurred at the bloodbath. What are you going to do? Um. Yeah, that's, uh, that's the Hunger Games. That's all I had planned for today. We haven't even gone for an hour, folks. But yeah, the camping strategy did work. Biggs didn't do anything until the very end. No, what did Rusty tweet out? <laughs> and Bernie tweeted the Rusty Cage cries himself to sleep and Rusty said, what is this? <laughs> a rematch? Okay, we're not going to go as fast this time though if we're going to do a rematch. Yeah, okay. Go back. We're gonna Let's fly through it. The first one is the cannon one. This is just for fun. You don't want another long highlight video? I'm not uploading this to YouTube, you fucking crybaby cuck. And even if I did, you don't have to click on it. What's your fucking problem? 
<laughs> okay, let's just fly through it. Let's see if we can get some funny memes out of it. Biggs runs away! Rusty runs away! Uh, Meat Man, E Rich, Monkey, and Digi share everything before running away. Bernie runs away. J more bloodless blood baths, folks. Asperger runs away. Jumpkey runs away. Alex runs away. Grandma grabs a sword. And Plemon grabs a trident. <laughs> Quentin reviews just keeps going fucking camping. <laughs> Again. And Asterios goes camping as well. Jane gets a shield. Wings finally stops questioning his sanity and grabs a backpack. Patchy runs away. Nerd City grabs his sword. Florian runs away. Uh, reactor breaks internet historian's nose for a basket of bread. I think again. I think that happened the first time. Uh, Tom. No, this isn't the same as last time. There, I think it's slightly different, right? Now, is this exactly the same? Oh, it is the same. Shit. That's too bad. Why would they do it again? This can't be. They wouldn't- it didn't randomize again? Well, fuck, I guess you guys are right. I thought it looked familiar. Shit. Hmm. Well. Simulate again. Okay, maybe this time it'll work. Okay, this time it's different. Here we go. Uh, Jane Goodall rips a mace out of Biggs's hands. Reactor scares Turkey Tom away from the cornucopia. Meat Man runs away. Quentin runs away. Asterios runs away. Asperger runs away. Jumpkey attacks sheep, but Uncle Alex protects her killing. Jumpkey moans immediately! <coughs> Tragedy. Emp runs away. Rusty runs away. Monkey runs away. Alexa runs away. Wings runs? I don't think so. Digibro, Nerd City, Internet Historian, and Grandma share some things before running away. Patchy runs, Erich runs, Bernie runs, Florian gathers a shit ton of food. Probably corn pizza, I would imagine. Yeah, Wings walks away. <laughs> Meat Man gets food from a sponsor. Grandma dies of an infection. Whoa! My two winner's picks are the first two to die in round two. <laughs> Jump King Grandma. Fall victim so early. Tragedy. Alexa sets off an explosive killing wings. Uncle Alex, Bedhead Bernie, and Patchy Jones. Alexa, you absolute madman. She has more kills in one fell swoop than anybody got individually in the last match. Holy fucking shit. <coughs> wings of Redemption does not make it past uh, the first 24 hours, it seems, in these... Uh, Quentin reviews tends to reactors wounds sheep over hunts for other tributes sheep over on the hunt Nerd City begs for Florian to kill him, but he refuses keeping Nerd City alive I think um, this one it might be too late to choose a winner pick because half the people have died But I my money is on uh, team Kino. I, I like the idea of Florian or e Rich taking this one Monkey e Rich and Asperger hunt for other tributes a trio that has been together, IRL folks. Internet historian Turkey Tom Mysterio's Biggs and Rusty Cage hunt for the other tributes. Jane Goodall thinks about the chimps back at home watching. Emp Lemon receives a hatchet, and Digibro picks flowers. Okay, let's go. Wow, I did not want these to be the first two dead. Jumpkey, Grandma, Wings, Alex, Bernie, and Patchy. All the people I love the most. Dead. The six people I love more than anybody else on this earth, folks! <laughs> Slain! On day one! Turkey Tom and Alexa fight Asterios and Quentin Reviews. Qu Asterios and Quentin Reviews survive! The power of hating Trump has brought them victory. Alexa, who killed four with an explosive, is now dead. This poor one out for Turkey Tom and Alexa, folks. Biggs and Florian run into each other and decide to truce for the night. We've already had more murders and killings in this one than the entirety of the previous one. E-Rich, Internet Historian, Asperger, and Jane Goodall sleep in shifts. 
Reactor and Sheepover tell stories about themselves to each other. That's cute. That's very cute. Nerd City and Meat Man sleep in shifts. And Plemon goes to sleep. Yeah, no surprise there. Digibro tries to treat his infection. I assume that's some sort of foreskin-related disease. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm unable to start a fire and I sleep without warmth. At least I didn't commit suicide again. Not yet. And Rusty Cage is playing some music for himself. Nerd City stalks internet historian! Biggs receives an explosive. I make a slingshot. Asperger tends to Florian's wounds. Jane and Digibro split up to search for resources. Asterios receives food from a sponsor. If only our podcast, Boomer vs. Zoomer, could get a sponsor, huh, folks? Rusty Cage practices his archery. Should have practiced before you went into the arena, I think. And Sheep tries to sleep throughout the entire day. What is this, any given Sunday, folks? <laughs> Quentin reviews, tries to spearfish with a trident. Erich shoots, it, shoots an arrow at Meat Man, but misses and kills Emp Lemon instead. Whoa! <coughs> Rip Emp. Erich getting a kill under his belt. And he needs that belt to keep those pants up, folks. You're right, we should play the downward spiral theme again. You're absolutely correct. <laughs> we have no choice. Downward spiral, 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 downward spiral. Okay, that's enough. That's enough out of that. Ah, let's return. Downward spiral, down, yeah, <laughs> that's what it said. Uh, reactor tries to sleep throughout the entire day. What is this? Any given Sunday, folks? Okay, Turkey Tom, Alexa, and Amp have all fallen victim. Night two. Nerd City tries to treat his infection. Biggs tries to treat his infection. Everybody's infected with this Fomunda cheese. Asperger stays awake all night. I wonder what he's doing in the wee hours of the night. Internet historian is awoken by nightmares. <laughs> Florian, Erich, and Jane Goodall discuss the games and what might happen in the morning. Reactor and Meat Man tell stories about themselves to each other. Uh oh, I don't like this one. Okay, no, it's just ghost stories. Digi, Sheep, Monkey, and Rusty tell each other ghost stories to lighten the mood. That would make for an interesting podcast quartet, I think, folks. Methinks it could be fun. Quentin convinces Asterios to snuggle with him. Again, bonding, I assume, over their love of Hillary Quentin. Hillary Quentin. I will be voting for Hillary Quentin. Rusty gets the high ground. I try to sleep throughout the entire day. What is this? Any given Sunday, folks? Internet historian and Quentin Reviews fight E. Rich and Jane Goodall. E. Rich and Jane Goodall survive! Woo! -hoo! Hell yeah! Team Kino all the way! E. Rich and Florian! <laughs> Hillary Gang is no more! Good luck, Asterios! One vote doesn't matter. You needed both. The popular vote doesn't count anyway. Digi, Asterios, and Sheep hunt for other tributes. Biggs receives a, uh, receives a hatchet. I hope Biggs does not win again. If this completely random 1 in 24 chance game gives the same victory to, to Biggs twice in a row... Well, I reckon that'll be some bullshit. Nerd City defeats Florian in a fight but spares his life. The Kino army fights on another day. Asperger attacks Meat Man, but Reactor protects him, killing Asperger. Will Burger ever get a break, folks? 
Reactor, how could you? Struck down Burger. I don't get it, why? So Asperger attacked somebody, and then a third party stepped in to protect the person he was attacking. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think somebody's getting doxxed. Somebody fucked their own sister, and it wasn't me this time. <laughs> All right, historian Quentin and Burger are dead. Let's see the statuses right now, folks. District 1, me and Sheep are both still doing just fine. Alexa, even though she got four kills, is dead. Rusty is still alive. A lot of the people alive don't seem to have very many kills, do they? Asterios has two kills. Biggs again. Playing the, the sleeper cell game. Has not killed anybody. Meat Man's still kicking. Reactor has a kill under his belt. Nerd City's alive. Jane Goodall's alive with two kills. Look at her. She's a cruel-hearted killer. Uh, Uncle Alex is dead with one kill. Digi is still alive. Uh, Erich has the most kills out of anybody still alive. With three. But Team Kino is still kicking strong. And I mean, I, I'm technically part of Team Kino too, in a way, so really all three Kino boys are still going. Yeah, there's no Vincent the Atheist, there's no Fabulous Feline. Who made this confangled game? Proceed. Let's go. Reactor decapitates Asterios with a sword! I almost saw this happen IRL uh, at, at in a bar fight. Asterios picked a bar fight with Reactor and his brother Tim Pool, and I had to break it up, folks. It was over a year ago. I think we're all on good terms now. Rest in peace, Asterios. Rusty defeats Sheep over in a fight, but spares her life. That's because Rusty is a true bro. He wouldn't do that to my girl. No way. Not a chance. Biggs quietly hums. Monkey receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor, probably NordVPN, asking me to make an Elliot Roger video. Unbeknownst to them, my channel will be banned for the very same content. Deemed un not advertiser friendly. Literally had an advertiser begging me to put it, make a video advertising them. Strange circumstances. Digibro tries to sing himself to sleep. Uh-oh. Okay. It's just all these good boys sleeping in shifts. I'm glad that uh, the Kino boys are working together with Jane Goodall. <laughs> Day four. Here we go. Meat Man and Rusty hunting for the tributes. Nerd City collects fruit from a tree. Biggs runs away from Florian. Jane gets a hatchet. Erich goes hunting. Reactor travels to higher ground. I search for firewood. Sheepover steals from Digibro while he isn't looking. Sneaky sheepy. And only Asterios died. Florian and Biggs huddle for warmth. Well, Florian, it's like you always say, more cushion for the pushing, folks. Sheepover receives clean water from a sponsor. District 1 is getting hooked up with all the sponsors today, folks. Jane Goodall starts a fire. Digibro loses sight of where he is. Erich re receives medical supplies from a sponsor. Nerd City loses sight of where he is. Rusty, Monkey, and Reactor get into a fight. Monkey triumphantly kills them both! Fuck you! Fuck you, Rusty! You saved my girl's life! I'll still fucking kill you anyway! Reactor, get fucked! The Kino boys live to see another day, baby! Double kill from the triumphant Monkey Jones! I hope it's a final three Kino boys! I hope I kill sheep and it's just me and the Kino boys left! Oh, Rusty! Reactor! They stood no chance! Your name starts with R, I'll fucking kill you! You done! Meat Man sees a fire but stays hidden. Whose fire could that be? Could it be Jane Goodall's fire?
Uh, cornuco okay, there's a feast at the cornucopia. I think that means we're almost done. Monkey and sheep get into a fight over raw meat. I thought we were on the same side, but I give up and run away. Yeah, sure. After I triumphantly kill the guy who almost killed her, I'm sure she overpowered me. I think I surrendered. Liberal surrender hands. Digi decides not to go to the feast. Florian decides not to go to the feast. I'm glad. I'm glad the Kino boys, us Kino boys are being smart. We know when to run away. Biggs ambushes Erich and kills him. No, my two biggest friends in a fight. Oh, the first of the Kino boys has fallen. I think this might be a sign that Biggs will win again. Will Biggs ever stop tormenting the MCU folks? How could this be? The two biggest friends in an epic brawl. Nerd City shoots an arrow into Jane Goodall's head. Meat Man stuffs a bundle of dry clothing into a backpack before sprinting away. We're running low on people. I go fishing, thank God. I think that means I'm gonna survive. Florian tends to Nerd City's wounds. Biggs questions his sanity. Meat Man sprains his ankle while running away from Digibro. Sheep over makes a slingshot. Very little action on day five. Very little action. Okay, four cannon shots. We got Rusty, Reactor, both killed by me in a very epic gamer moment, epic maneuver. Erich and Jane. Let's see the statuses, folks. How many we have left alive? Me and Sheep are both alive. I have two kills under my belt. Biggs and Meat Man are still alive. So the entire districts are staying alive together. Nerd City's still alive. And we have Digibro and Florian. What's that, the final five? Me, Sheep, Biggs, Meat Man, Nerd. Okay, so final six, it looks like. I'm still hoping for a, a Florian win. Uh, me or Florian, we need a Kino boy to win. I really don't want Biggs to win again, but he's made it this far, so anything could happen. Fingers crossed for Florian defeating Biggs in the final round. Let's go. Meat Man and Digibro hold hands. Weird thing to do during the final rounds of the game. Biggs and Monkey talk about the tribute still alive. At least uh, he isn't killing me. Nerd City decapitates Florian with a sword. Ah! Oh! <laughs> Fuck. That means Biggs is in the final five and my Kino district is dead. I'm the last holdout for a Kino victory here, folks. Fuck me. And Sheep sings herself to sleep. We're in the final five, folks. Final five. We got four of us. No, final six. I, I must have fucked that up. Whatever. I don't care. Whatever. Final six. Us four are teaming up to hunt for Meat Man and Sheep. Sheep is just fishing. Meat Man dies of hunger. He could have potentially ate himself because he's made of meat, but no! Which means officially this is the final five. Monkey, Nerd, Biggs, Digi, and Sheep. Four men teamed up against this one little girl. Will she have what it takes to pull it out for a come-from-behind Katniss-style victory? Will Biggs win the day again? Find out next time on The Hunger Games. Rip in peace. My dearly beloved friends. All right. Oh my God. Digibro sets off an explosive killing nerd city and sheep over. Oh, pour one out for my sheep. That means it's Digi, Monkey, and Biggs in the final three. My God. Biggs goes to sleep. Monkey looks at the night sky. Oh, I'm too scared to even click on it, folks. At this point, I mean, I don't want Biggs to win again and I don't want Digi to win. But I know damn well I'm not going to win anything. Oh, just for the sake of statistics being broken, I kind of want to see Biggs win again. Yeah, Biggs gang. Biggs winning twice in a row. Could it be? Biggs attempts to climb a tree but falls on Monkey, killing them both. Great. Which means Digi Bro is the winner, folks. We have a Digi victory! Digi victory! Biggs, you fat fuck up. You could have had two wins in a row. You just had to land on me. Such bullshit. 
So does that mean Big's got first place and then second place? Is Big's the Dan Giesling of the Hunger Games? Could it be? Oh no, I guess I got second place. Sorry, Biggs. You were so close, even though we both died at the same time. What a tragic wheelchair accident. Great ending, yeah. Digi didn't even win by killing a guy. Biggs just accidentally committed suicide while killing me with his girth. <laughs> Dan Giesling in the chat, I love it. <laughs> well, Digi, congrats, you finally won. <laughs> you finally won something. All right, all right. Now we've done two Hunger Games, folks. That I don't know how that first one took so long. I think it was because nobody died early on, so each day lasted a long, long time. All right, that's all I wanted to do tonight, folks. Sorry for a short stream, it's only an hour. Hopefully we all had a little bit of fun. But I'm very close to finishing editing the Big Monkey Box video, and I, I've been drinking this Red Bull during the stream because I want to stay up late tonight working on that. So I'm gonna go uh, just work on that big video and hopefully have it out by the end of the month. I'll try my best. Everybody, thanks for tuning in. Thank you for everybody who donated and gave bits. Thank you for everybody who subscribed. Thanks to everybody who just hung out in the chat. I had some fun. We'll do this again sometime. I'm gonna make it next time. Uh, I'll put in uh, some more MCU characters like Vincent, Fabulous Feline, uh, all the characters you've come to know and love rather than perhaps random people I collabed with once. <laughs> okay. Bye, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. We'll, we'll do this again sometime, and uh, we'll have a longer stream next time. This weekend, this Saturday, 24-hour stream. Maybe we'll do this during the 24-hour stream, folks. That'd be a fun bit. Go watch Wing, Wings of Redemption. Is there a way I can send everybody to Wings? How, how do I raid him? How do you raid somebody? I want to raid Wings of Redemption. Uh, TV. Can I send everybody to Wings? How do you do that? Maybe you can't. Slash raid name. Below the video, click host. Is it in the settings? Maybe he just doesn't have it on. He might not be raidable. Hey, can somebody go look? I don't know if he's raidable. How do you host somebody, though? I don't see the host option underneath his video. I think he might have turned it off. Yeah, I'm, I'm on his fucking page, Bernie. I'm not that stupid. <laughs> well, so slash raid, and then uh, what? Wings of Redemption? Like that? No, yeah, it says you cannot raid this channel. He turned raiding off. Unfortunately. No, it's not a boomer moment. He literally turned it off so you can't do it. Oh my god, Gangster Grandma's on screen! I guess if we want to raid him, everybody just click on uh, the link that Bernie posted in the chat. Yeah, that'll be our raid. Okay, bye everybody. <laughs>